Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I wanted to give you a quick video on how to make an improvised tourniquet using a piece of cloth. This is a triangle bandage, carabiner, and your keys. Now this isn't the ideal tourniquet. Obviously using a commercial tourniquet that is battle proven is the best. But sometimes in an emergency situation, you don't have what's best is available. Obviously having a good commercial grade battle proven tourniquet is the best. My trauma kits come with it. If it's a good trauma kit that someone else is trying to sell on the internet, it's going to come with a good commercial grade tourniquet. But sometimes you don't have the best or you may not be able to afford one of these tourniquets. So I'm going to show you an alternate that could possibly work and save your life. Basically we are going to use a triangle bandage as the actual tourniquet. We're going to use the carabiner as a windlass to tighten it up to cut off blood flow. And then we're going to use the key loop here to lock it in place. We're going to pretend like the injury is to this leg. You want to get your tourniquet several inches above the actual injury and try to make this cloth as wide as you can possibly get it. This goes here. Take your keys, loop it through, tie just a simple overhand knot. Bring your carabiner in. Do another overhand knot. Now, this is where you're going to use to tighten. And then you'd want to tighten this until blood flow has stopped. So the massive hemorrhaging that you have has come to a complete stop. You bring your keychain around. And lock it into place. So the keychain itself is now holding the carabiner so it doesn't unwind. Here's a little closer look. You can see the tourniquet's wrapping around. You'd want this as wide as you can get it. It is kind of narrow here. This spins around. This is making the pressure and then it locks into place. I want to add that I did try to do this on my arm to apply a tourniquet, self-aid, using this, and it was very difficult. I'm not even sure that it would be an effective uh, procedure if I were actually having massive bleeding in my arm. So this would work good for a buddy aid in the upper extremity, but I don't think you get this self-aid done. Now you could do self-aid to a leg, I don't see a problem with that, but doing self-aid to your arm, upper extremities, I don't think it's going to work doing it like this. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder.